Hey, hey everybody, it's Kato Motto back for another Minecraft video. Hope everybody's having a great day, guys. I'm having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get 3D virtual surround sound in Minecraft, okay? And the good news is, guys, it's already built into 113 and above. So in 113 and above, uh, as long as you select headphones as your uh, system audio source when you start Minecraft, and it recognizes it as headphones, then it will apply this effect called a head-related transfer function, or HRTF, okay? And what that means is um, we have a set, we have two ears, a pair of ears, and so we have stereo hearing, basically, and your skull acts as a filter in your ear canals, okay? So when a sound is off to the side of you, uh, your two ears compare the difference between those sounds and your skull acts as a filter and it delays it a little bit and also you know attenuates it mutes it per filters it a little bit and then your ears do a calculation for that to comp to determine where the sound source is coming from all right and there's mics and stuff that you could people can wear that will uh, set it up for their specific anatomy for their skull and get recordings based on that but there's also generalized presets and stuff okay so as of um, minecraft uses a thing called the lightweight java game library and it includes a um, library itself called the open al open al soft and uh, it has these hrtf functions inside of it and as of the uh, newest release, uh, as I said, in uh, 1.13.2 is when they started bundling it for 3.2.2 uh, of the L W G J G L 3.22. Uh, 3.2.1 uh, did an update uh, on this that put the stuff necessary for HRTF inside of it. Uh, and so this newest Minecraft will take advantage of it, all right? So that's very cool, and all you got to do is just set your device to headphones. Now, there are some ways to improve it substantially, the effect that you get from it. And so there's a mod called Sound Physics. Now, this mod's been around since about 1.9, and it was created by Sonic Ether, uh, who does Sue Shaders originally, and it required a resource pack and stuff. Uh, but uh, subsequently, he stopped developing it, and then it was picked up by Dipinger. I don't know if you have, that's how you say it, uh, and ported to 112. But now it's been picked up by DJ Padbit, all right, and he's updated it to uh, up to 1.16.3. Uh, it's a Forge mod, and it does work in 1.16.4. Okay, so I'll leave a link in the description for you to download this. Um, but you can get it from here for 1.12.2, 1.15.2, and 1.16.3, which doesn't work in 1.16.4. But if you've heard of the Sound Filters mod, um, this is similar, but I think a lot better. So basically, it provides realistic sound attenuation. So if, you're on, if there's blocks in between you and the sound source, it'll take into account those blocks and the materials that they're made of and muffle the sound a bit. Uh, then it has reverberation for like spaces, you know, the size of room or cave or whatever you're, you're in and absorption of sound through blocks and stuff as well. And I think overall this is far superior in the final result of the sound than the sound filters mod, although that one's good too. Um, but especially when you're using these head related transfer functions along with it, okay? So, uh, again, I'll leave a link and I encourage you to install that along with it. Now, experimentally, there's another thing that you can try that's built into the Windows operating system. And I've found it sounds better for me and my headphones, but uh, it may vary for you so you could try it. But there's a thing called, uh, well, let's right click on it. And it's the Spatial Sound Window Sonic for headphones, okay? Now, if you right click on the sound mixer there, you can turn it on, but it turns it on for all devices. But what you want to do is you want to go to the control panel, the old control panel in Windows 10, uh, choose hardware and sound, and then choose sound. And then you'll be able to see your, your audio devices and configure them individually. So select the headphone device that you want 
and get properties on it and then there's a spatial sound tab there and you can turn on windows sonic for headphones there and it will be on separately uh, from your regular speakers uh, your regular speakers while they'll give some of the effect it, it won't be um, as pronounced and you need to be in the right location they need to be the right spacing you know there's a lot of other variables to it whereas good headphones can uh, affect that and one thing i want to mention as well uh, in my particular setup is i have um, the razor synapse because i have a uh, razor chroma uh razor um cracking chroma headphones and they do have a surround sound type effect with them but it's only with 7.1 audio sources so some of this is experimental information that i'm figuring out and i'd like to hear your feedback of how well it applies on your system because um, on my system i'm getting great results even by adding that spatial sound i get what i consider to be improved results especially along with this mod all right but there's some other settings that you can make as well that may improve it and i want to show you how to do that so on the uh, opensoft.org openalsoft.org you can download a pre-compiled binary for your system all right and i will show you windows uh, so you can get a windows 32 or windows 64 but it's for openalsoft 1.21 now the one that's included with minecraft again we got um uh, I'll just show you in MultiMC. Basically, we've got a. Um, I've already got the window up. Hold on. So we have LWJGL3. So we have 3.2.2 inside of there. Now, 3.2.2 has. Um, tells you in here. Let's see. Let's find OpenAL. Yeah, it has 1.19.1. All right, so that was updated in 3.2.1. Uh, again, we're running 3.2.2. So it has 1.19.1 in it. All right, so you'll need to get the binary for that. And how you do that, and I'll leave a link in the description, is um, basically you can get the address from here, copy link address for 1.21.0, and then paste it in your, uh, your address bar and then change that to 119 one all right and it'll pull it down all right but i'll leave a link to this in the description so you can pull that down all right and when you do that you'll get a um zip file that is pre-compiled and all you really need out of it so extract the zip file and all you'll really need out of it is the alsoft config right so Here's the alsoft config.exe, so you can open it, and then you'll be able to go in and make some settings. All right, some settings that you can make are you can set the sample rate of, to match that of your Windows system, although it should already. If your Windows system is set to 48 kilohertz, then Minecraft should detect that. Um, and Minecraft, again, by default in this stereo mode, uh, selects auto detect okay so i've got it set to headphones to force it to always be headphones so i can record that audio but you'll see it as auto detect which is what the behavior that i explained that when you have headphones as your system device it will detect them whereas if you have speakers it, it won't enable them okay but you can change that setting here all right and uh, under the hrtf a very important setting is you can load an impulse uh file all right an hrtf impulse file all right and that'll give you better quality so there is a video i'll leave a link in the description that's very cool very detailed but it will give you uh, a set of it, it's going to play a ocean sound that's going to travel across your head and around you and you'll be able to compare the various impulse response files okay so you can go through and find which one works the best. Now, a common one that seems to work well for a lot of people is this IRC 1037. And this is the one I seem to prefer. I did also like uh, 10, 1047, I think. 1047 worked for me well, too. Yeah. 
So you, you can go through and compare which ones you like, but again, 1037 is a good starting point. And then within the video description here, they'll give you a, a link to Mega to uh, download uh, the various files for this. So it's right here. You want to select the open AL soft 1.19 or zero above that link. And then that'll take you to Mega and you can download the archive that contains those right here. And once you do that, you'll uh, be able to go in and select the impulse file that you want. Okay. Uh, and add it here to add the path to it and then add it there. Now, what this thing is actually doing, guys, is it's going through and it's creating an INI file for you. It makes a, you know, so GUI or GUI that makes it easier to do it. But that INI file is located in app data. So in your search bar type app data, per, percent app data, percent, it'll open it up. And there's going to be an INI file called alsoft.ini so alsoft.ini so you can create this manually if you want uh, and here's the format of it you, there's a category listing at the top I've got my channel set to stereo frequency to 48 kilohertz HRTF to true so again it's auto normally so I have it forced on when you set it to true you're setting it to force always be on and again that's because I'm trying to record these uh this effect uh we'll see how well that works uh stereo mode headphones as i explained then this is how it does that default profile so default.hrtf the file name and then i have mode full and the hrtf size uh zero all right and if you uh, go online and search in youtube for open a al um, you'll see that there's people that have made sound files from other games and stuff so here's one from the game prey which sounds really good open al soft hrtf this person i drink lava 3d game audio does a lot of these videos uh, they're pretty cool um, but he had some settings in there that i was working with as well so here's the, his settings he explains it uh, in the description so he had the hrtf mode full hrtf size zero all right uh, again, I like to go into a lot of details so that we can, uh, you know, everybody comes away at least knowing what's going on. But in this, there's a folder that's created called OpenAL, and it's all lowercase, OpenAL, and then a folder inside that called HRTF, and then there's the impulse file. Now, it needs to be an MHR file, but you can, there's ways to compile your own but these that you get from the link that I'll give you will be pre-compiled. So you just put them in there and then I'll recognize them. Okay. And uh, again, you can do that manually. And if you do some manual settings like that, then you could just use this app to verify that they're being applied um, because these settings in here should match those. Okay. So that's basically how to improve it with an impulse response file. All right. So, uh, I think I've covered pretty much what I want to as far as uh, the setup of it. So let's just take a look. Again, I'm going to try to record it, but I don't know for sure that you know it'll turn out. We'll see. All right, so I'm gonna go into multi-MC here, uh, and a good way to test, I found, is in a mine shaft. A mine shaft is an excellent testing ground for this because there's lots of little shafts with spaces in between them of different materials there's wood and there's dirt and there's stone and then there's mobs you know and spawners where there's a lot of mobs usually a dungeons around they're on multiple levels so it's really a really a good place to test all right so uh let's see i want to go and get to full screen here okay so guys as mentioned we're going to go in just into this basic world with a mine shaft Obviously, I have headphones on. Um, so, again, a mine shaft is a great place to test. Okay, so I hear Enderman right there. Okay, Spider. Uh, so, again, I can try to determine directionally, and I can hear the spider is much more. There's water right there, so I could turn around and hear the water 
behind me, in front of me. I can hear him off to the side. Hey, let's see if we can find some more mobs. Uh, here's a spawner for cave spiders. Okay, that spider's much attenuated. I hear lava. Okay, I hear these guys behind me. So now I'd hear them off to the side. Yeah, the Enderman's in front of me. Let's go down a little bit. Uh, you can also hear sounds above you a little bit. You can get the sense of things being above you. Okay, yeah, so that's over there, that spider. I hear him. If we, I hear some zombies off in the distance. There's lava. If we can hear it off to the side. Yeah, there's some zombies moaning way off in the distance. Haven't heard the lava yet. I hear water over there. I just heard the lava. There's water. Yeah, I hear the lava behind me now. So anyway, these are just examples, guys. Um... I'll probably set up some future videos where they're, you know, it's more optimized uh, to test. But for right now, at least I'm getting a feel for the effect. I'm going to try to locate a zombie. I hear him off in the distance. All right, there's a skeleton. Yeah, right there, two of them. And again, through the walls and stuff, they get muted but a uh, mine shaft is a perfect place to test because of this kind of stuff so anyway i'm not going to make this video too long but uh, i wanted to at least give you a demonstration of it uh, and how to set it up and then you could do it in your system let's see i should have a skeleton here well they, they both walk together i was going to see if i could get one on each side of me Yeah, I guess those are the ones behind me. But it's very useful in play to be able to locate mobs like that as well. Right, here's a spawner. So those are the, probably the zombies I was hearing. Yeah, so I can definitely tell he's off to my left. Yeah, and through a wall. So pretty neat, guys. Pretty neat. Anyway, if you like this video... Go ahead and get out of this because they're making so much noise. But if you like this video, guys, please leave a like. Uh, the setups are really cool, so I'd like to hear from you on how it works on your system. Especially, I'm interested in how that the uh, Windows Sonic stuff works for you. I may continue to tweak with that because a lot of the um, OpenAL videos that I've seen online tell you to turn that off. But for me, it sounds a little better and it might be in combination with that um the sound uh physics mod that helps along with that for me it sounds better but i want to continue to tweak with that uh so impulse responses make a big difference as i showed so take some time to go through that video and watch it and pick the impulse responses that work the best for you and anyway this is scott omato thanks so much for watching guys we'll see you in the next one have a great day Bye-bye.